Come on, hurry up. Stella, it's not okay to scream. I don't, I'm not calling your dad. Are you being emotionally supportive to yourself? We're going to look at what that means. Yeah, because I am, I am, I am, I am. No, you don't. Stop. Yes, I am. Stop. Josh, all I am. Shut up. I didn't tell you to shut yes, up. You, yes. no, I Have compassion for yourself. Compassion does not mean to go into agreement or throw a tantrum because nothing works out for you or that things aren't working out in your favor. Compassion means being tender, being gentle with yourself while you feel your feelings, while you work through the rough spots, and while you feel your way and work through this journey. What is causing you to feel that way? Use the mirror exercise to release those bad feelings so that you can free yourself from them. How can you be compassionate for your twin or for others if you aren't willing to be have compassion for yourself? Right? And if you don't if you don't have compassion for others and especially especially your twin, then you do not have compassion for yourself either. Feel your feelings. The mirror exercise starts with feeling your feelings. The feeling itself is what you are looking to release. The feeling is the block. The block is what is keeping you in separation. Understand what you are feeling. Notice the difference between feeling good or feeling bad. Feeling at peace or feeling numb. Your feelings are what matter. You are only responsible for your feelings, not anyone else's. If you feel something, it is yours. Yours. It's not, oh, my twin is struggling healing themselves because they're like, they're not with it. Well, congrats. That's yours. You feel it, you heal it. Next is discovering your values. What is important to you? What do you value in every area of your life? Knowing this will give you clarity on what you should be spending your energy on, focusing your attention on. Live your life according to what you value in your heart. Focus on those things, not on what isn't those things. You make it harder on yourself by, by giving your attention to things that are unrelated to you and what you desire. You put focus on not wanting things to happen or things that you don't care about or don't want. That is distracting you from putting your focus on what it is that you do really want. How can you manifest something if your attention and focus isn't on it? Getting clear on your desires will allow you to get clear on the boundaries that you must set if applicable. Get clear on what you want. Assess boundaries when appropriate and where appropriate. And use boundaries that are appropriate. Right? If someone that isn't your twin is coming on to you, that requires a boundary. I'm not interested, please stop. Not, <laughs> I'm not interested. It's not a boundary, that's an invitation. 
If you're going to be flirty, you're not putting up a boundary. You're welcoming more. Be clear. Right? Or whatever is necessary. It's not an overreaction. There's no reason to freak the fuck out. Like calmly and peacefully do necessary things to put up boundaries. There's not, this isn't a war. You can clearly state with intention that you don't like something and that it's not for you. And that will be, you know, all you that you will take from that. Like you're not going into it any deeper. It ends here. You draw the line. Right? So that means if you desire your twin, blocking them is putting up an inappropriate boundary. Not wanting to speak to them, saying, nope, no communication here. Inappropriate boundary. You're playing games. Good luck. Because they will start playing games as well. And you aren't going to like it. You know, I want them, but I'm going to block them. That's insane. You know, wanting to be with them is choosing love. Anything other than that is choosing separation. Which do you want? Next, avoid relying on external validation. This is huge, huge for very many people. This is a big one. Many of you need to be validated by other people or by life itself. Validation comes from within you. You have to be emotionally supportive of yourself. No one will do it for you. If you keep seeking everything outside of yourself, you will continue to feel the way you do. You want to continue to feel shitty? Good, then keep looking outside of yourself for love and for validation. You are an adult. Support yourself emotionally. Be there for yourself. Show up for yourself all day long. No one wants to be around a whiny crybaby. You know, especially including your twin. And double especially for your twin if you are one of those people that just continually like blames them for everything, or even some things, or even a little bit of things. No one wants to be around that. And recognize where your pain is coming from. Identify the hurt, the wound, the bad feeling. Why is that making you feel that way? Use the mirror exercise to heal it. Want to support yourself? And do the mirror exercise, the inner work that is required to release separation. If you're not doing inner healing, then you will continue to make no progress and complain your twin is a jackass. That's just how it will be. Nothing will end without you doing the inner work. You're not going to miraculously one day just turn around without you turning around making a new choice change changing the way you're approaching this journey changing your inner reality so go down below click the links or visit asoneguidance.com to heal your separation so that you can come into harmonious union with your twin flame